Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to show you some things that I love that are $30 and under that are available on Amazon. I am not going to be filming an Amazon Prime video because I want it, but I want to let you know that July 12th and 13th is what's called Amazon Prime Day, and it's the two days a year that you can get some very special deals at times if you are a Prime member. Well, you can also get a 30-day trial membership. And the only thing that's important about that is that you mark on your calendar a couple of days before your Prime membership is due again because you will be charged, I think it's like $8.99 a month or something like that. I do the yearly. I've just, I've done it for years. But it would be a good opportunity if there was some bigger ticket items you're looking for. What I've done, I'm looking for another one of the Ring uh, doorbells. I love it. You have to have a smartphone, um, but I love it and I want one for out back. Well, I think they're around $100 and there's a chance they'll be on for $50. There's also a 55-inch TV that Jim is interested in and there was something else I can't remember. But anyway, what I do is I find what I'm interested in and I either put it in my cart or just take a screenshot of it. So when it's Amazon Prime Day, I look and see what what the cost is. Sometimes I haven't gotten a good deal, but like my Alexa, the little round Alexa, I got it for $25 last year. And also one thing I wanna ask is if you all recommend any type of a Kindle type reading device, I can read on my phone, I can read on my iPad and, and on, on my laptop, but I kinda like to read in bed. And I know they have some ones that are special, but I don't know anything about it. So if you have a favorite, Kindle type device, let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna look up and see how long I have been buying the Shilden leather phone cases. The first one was sent to me and I think I had an iPhone 6 and it was many years ago. Well, your phone just snaps in right here. It snaps in and it stays and I always put a screen protector. And then there are there's plenty of room for like my driver's license. I have my healthcare spending account, card in there. I have two debit cards, my AAA, and a regular credit card. And in here, I don't even know what's in here. We'll just see together. I have $10, $15, $35. That's just in case you go someplace and your debit card doesn't work. And a few other things in here. I have my medication list my son's business card, and, and my Medicare Part D. Anyway, it holds a lot. When I wanna go any place, I've got everything I need and I can just stick this in my pocket and go. It's really not good if you're somebody that wants to take a lot of selfies, but I don't take selfies, so. Because you have to, you have to open this up, but I love it and I paid $29.95 for it. And it's been a game changer for me. I think I heard about this from L is for Living but it's, we've had it about three years and it is an extra large heating pad. It doesn't have straps on it, but like if it's lower back pain, I just use a robe when a, or Jim uses a robe, a belt on a robe and puts it around him. I'll type in the dimensions and link it below, but it has been a wonderful, wonderful heating pad. I don't believe it's washable, but I always put a towel between myself and a heating pad just because I'm extra careful. The next item is for winter, and I know it's been so hot here. It has been terribly hot. But these might be on sale, and sometimes you get the very best price when you buy it off season. And it's it's underwear, long underwear for women. I bought this last winter. I can't read the brand. If they still have it, I'll link it below. If they don't have it, I'll just say not available. But it is so soft, and it feels so good. And the pants, I love. They don't, they're not too, super skinny at the bottom, but if you need to wear something underneath your clothing or like to go for a walk, or if you just wanna lower your thermostat, I can highly recommend these. And I think I paid around less than $30 for them. The next item is something that is really honestly important. It is a freestanding toilet paper holder. And I'll either take a picture of mine in the bathroom or I will uh, put a screenshot in. Years and years ago, an orthopedic surgeon said to me, so many people 
jar their back when they're reaching back for toilet paper. And if you have room for a freestanding one, I can highly recommend this. I think it was around $25. It is never turns over. The, the bottom, it's, it's stainless steel, and it's just perfect. <laughs> it really is. In fact, when I made my bathroom into a bathroom, it used to be like a little library. Uh, I didn't even have them put a recessed toilet paper holder because I'd already heard that, and I probably did that bathroom 17 years ago. It was before I met Jim I had done that bathroom. And something I have enjoyed so much and if you ever see these, if you have those kind of uh, corner cabinets that are Lazy Susans that are round, I bought two that were stackable, one for either side. I, they have worked out so well. I, I'll put a picture of them here. I don't have a ton of cabinet space anyway, so these have been really helpful and they've held up really well. And I think I paid about $25 for one and I only needed two. I love my Corel pasta dishes. They happen to match the set of Corel I have, but I just love them. We both love them. I've got two sets of four, and they make a good, if you like a small vegetable dish, if it's just for Jim, for just the two of us. I use them for a lot of things, but I think you all helped me find these. The Sonia Kashuk brush, I heard about from Laura, from Laura Ray's Beauty, used to be Shake Up Makeup. My grandmother always used a bore bristle brush, and my oldest sister swore by Mason Pearson hair brushes, and they are like super expensive, anywhere from like $120 to $275. And Sonia Kashup quit making them, and I wanted a brush that was this size. Well, it is bore bristle and rubber, and it just brushes through your hair so nicely. It's easy to clean. Like, I can see if I have any hair loss. <laughs> But I love these, and I think I paid $21 for this. I was told about these from not another YouTuber, but somebody that left a comment under my comment. I was wanting some good shoulder pads. Well, these are a pair that I got this past year, but I think they're called like invisible bras. This was the first set I ordered, and I mean, you can use them and use them and use them. You can wash them in cold water and soap if you need to, but you just have to put keep the plastic to put over them, and they work so well for shoulder pads. These work really well with heavier sweaters. This is a D cup. Here is a C cup, and, and I really like it. But, but last year I was wanting just something a little bit smaller, and I found the invisible bra, and it had a clasp in the middle. So you could just like put it on if you're kind of not real busty and wear it as a bra. But I just cut that little clasp on and you can see me putting them on. I think they make a world, world of difference for me. It makes my shirts look like they fit better. It just leaves a nicer line under a jacket. Like drop shoulders do not do me any favors. And I used to take them and sew them and bring them up, but I haven't used my sewing machine in a long time. So these are working very well. I think these were $15.99 or $16. Ice is a big part of my life, and I would freeze cups in my freezer to get ice. And you know, if they were plastic, sometimes eventually they would split. And I found these on Amazon, of course, and they were $14.99 for a set of six. And I just put as much ice as I want to, and I put them in one of those Beano organizers and put them in my freezer and I just run a little water underneath the faucet and the ice plops out and it lasts forever. Cause I, I drink a lot of water. So these were a good deal. And then you could also use them as cups. But the nurse in me likes stainless steel. I can I like glass and stainless steel. And I found these just by luck. And I know you all have seen them before. So many of you have purchased them. I hadn't mentioned them in my other two videos. I did one $10 and under, one $20 and under, and I didn't mention them that they stack and they're magnetic and they're measuring spoons. And it has two ends, one is elongated and one is bow-like. This will go down in those little tiny jars real well. I usually use the round side for liquid and this for dry, but they're just perfect and they have a little level on them and I love them. I bought these for about $13 or should I say this? This is a chef's grade cut resistant glove. And I usually use it on just one hand and it'll work on either hand. And when I am chopping, I have to, I've, you know, I've got really thin blood. 
So I have not had any cuts since I used these. And what I do, I don't know about the washing instructions, but when I'm done chopping whatever I'm wanting to chop, and I don't chop meat with it, I mean, it's usually vegetables or fruit, I will just put it on my hand, put detergent on it, and I'll wash it, and then I'll just hang it to dry. If you're somebody that is prone to accidents with a knife, these might be really good. And I just thought I just needed one glove, and I've had them for a few years. This I heard about on somebody's channel, and for the life of me, I don't know. But these are a multi-charger. This charges absolutely everything I need it to. It has the USB port on this end, and then you just, it has three different, I, I guess these are ports, I'm not sure what they are, but you can use this size or this size and take this off or this size. And I've gotten rid of all of my other chargers except for a couple from Apple, and it even works on my Apple phone. So they stretch, I, I don't know how many of these I purchased for people, and then they just go right back in. And I know I paid less than $15. This, what I'm gonna show you, I mean, you can probably find all these things so many different places, but something that has been really important to me and I use as often as I can remember is a perpetual calendar. I have to admit, this year I have missed some birthdays, but you know, you just look every year, you've got like January, February, March, April, May, June. I put birth dates, I put dates that people passed away. I put the year somebody was born. When you get so many grandchildren, sometimes you forget it. You can remember how old they are, and then you think, well, anyway. If you're good, you never will miss a, a birthday. But like I said, this past year, I have not been as good. But if you see these anywhere, they are so helpful. And you don't have to worry about transferring birthdays or putting them on your iPhone. The one they showed on Amazon was like $11.99. And I did not buy this on Amazon. I used to use the Aaron Condren Planners and it came with that, but I wanted, I did want you to know that they are available and they're really good. These are one of my very favorite finds ever, and I've talked about them a long time ago, and I know a lot of you bought them and you loved them too, and I'm not sure if they're available or not, but I was looking for a belt that stretched, that didn't have a buckle, so if I wore jeans and I wore a sweater that was out, that there wouldn't be a buckle that showed. Well, I found this and it, is really nice, it clips, but it's not the best part of it. This is Jim's and I'll show you mine. I took that clasp off and what I do is like any type of slacks that have the belt loops, you just put the, snap this on a belt loop and then bring it around through your other belt loops and snap this on the other side so there is nothing in the middle of your, where your zipper and your button is. And if you have a pair of slacks that are too, a little bit too big in the waist. Jim likes to wear them too with jeans if he's wearing his shirt out. But I think these were probably 11 or $12. And I bought mine and Jim liked it so much, I bought him one. But it's been a favorite. I should have washed these before I showed these next ones. I found these from Dolores from the Baking Diva. And they are a pair of pot, I mean, it's just some pot holders. But I have washed these and I don't, I don't dry them in the dryer but they have silicone and they are very resistant to slipping. But I like the way your hand goes in here and they're just a perfect amount. And I've got to show you, I've got a bad burn there and that had nothing to do with potholders. I was showing Jim something I was browning in, in butter and I don't know what I did. I kind of hit the pan and just big grease on my inner arm. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about, I heard about from O'Carroll and it's grandma's secret spot remover. If I have like an oil spot, like I did on my blouse when I top when I was cooking, I'll just go ahead and put Dawn on it immediately. But this is, I've used for stains that I did not see when I washed them the first time. And so far, everything that I've used it on has worked. And Carol found them and I just got two small bottles. I keep one in my dressing room and one in my laundry room. And I don't know what it's made of, but it works. My mom would have sworn by Feld's Napa soap. That's what she used for everything, but it may have Feld's Napa soap in it. So those are my items that are $30 or under. If they're available, I will put them in the description below. If they're not available, I'll just put an NA. And if you're still here, this is gonna be a giveaway. And what I wanna do is I wanna give three of my viewers either a $75 Amazon gift card 
or a $75 deposit in your PayPal account. One or the other. PayPal is very, very easy and so are e-gift cards. This is international. You don't have to be subscribed. All you have to do is be 18 years old or older. Since this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments. But if you ask, go to any video, whether it says I can or can't reply, any video, if you wanna ask me something, if you wanna tell me something, I will definitely get back with you. I get messages on videos from eight years ago. They show up, so. And the only thing you need to do is use the word favorite in a sentence in your comment below. It'd be great if you told me your favorite find from Amazon or your favorite find anywhere. It has been hot as heck and the humidity has been sky high, but the sun has been really bright and that's a good thing. It is all good. Appreciate you all and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. He wants to take a that he gets so many back and just puts it around you. It was long before I met you. They're called bra to keep his pants up. <laughs> They're so resistant to sleeping, slip. You know, it's just one of those things. And one of...